<laughs> That's what I like to see. Team playing. How are you? Uh, Georgina Ellis. Ah, yes. And uh, you must be Amber Kingsley. And Zoe, right? So, shall we get down to business? Business? You did receive my fax, didn't you? I'm Margot Hayes. That's uh, Margot with an X, although I didn't bring him along. Bore that he is. <laughs> From Skinworks International? Oh, sorry. I've been dealing with Kate Hoskins, but she did mention you. Ah. Oh. Trey Devlin. Let me hear that sexy voice of yours. I'm sorry, have we met? Oh, it's divine. No wonder you're so popular and so controversial. Miss Hayes is from Skinworks International. Ah, Miss Hayes, I see you've done your homework. Please, Margot. I think you'll find I know everything about all of you. Apparently, we lost a fax. Oh, that's all right, sweetie. I'm here now. So, where's your office? W wouldn't you like to go to the hotel first? Uh, honey, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Lead the way. <laughs> Just through there. Amber, that's kind of cute, but it'll never stay up. Excuse me. Now, I need access to body beats data, sales figures, profit and loss statements, projections. Didn't you receive our proposal? It outlined the company and the deal. Yes, but Skinworks needs to know more. We already have some key data from your country's security commission, but it's inadequate for our purposes. We don't want to pay more than market worth for the franchise, you understand? Well, I can assure you that we're an extremely viable proposition. I hope you are, but we need confirmation. So, are you busy tonight? Nothing I can't postpone. Great. It's appreciated. I'm not here for very long, and we obviously have a lot to talk about. So, a good restaurant? My treat. No arguments, I insist. <laughs> Certainly. Georgina, I know that I'm about as subtle as a preacher in a whorehouse, but... Believe me, it'll pay off for both of us. Zoe? She's on too. Thanks. Zoe, it's Margot here. I need you to print up some data. I'll be in straight away. Thanks, honey. You don't mind me working in here, do you? And then I spent a lot of years modeling in London and Paris and New York, but <laughs> that really wasn't me. Shutting up and looking pretty? Uh-uh. Yeah, but the money. Oh, Amber, you're hardly starving. <laughs> From what I understand, you're quite a businesswoman, Amber. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, how'd you make the switch from one to the other? You know, our reservations are actually for eight o'clock, and I don't want to be late, we'll lose our table. <laughs> of course. Excuse me, I'll just freshen up. Okay. Good morning. Morning. I come in. <clears throat> I've been up since five going through the body beat data. Some of the figures in your balance sheet don't tally with our deal. In fact, if my sums are correct, there's a discrepancy in the stated profits as much as 17%. Good morning. I don't understand. Well, honey, you better wake yourself up, get yourself dressed and make us both understand because there's millions of dollars riding on it. This should explain the discrepancy. You see, the figures for the Asian territories are not available at the time the actual proposal was renegotiated. So, rather than just confuse the issue with out-of-date figures, we put together an addendum. Now, I can only apologise for you not receiving that. Well, I'd like to go over these myself. Of course. This certainly is a major oversight, Georgina. Yes, I know, and I intend to ask Amber exactly how it happened. Amber? Amber put the package together? Yes, she's rather new at this. Perhaps it's a little early to give us so much responsibility. I'd like to speak with her. Amber, the Asian Territory Addendum. There's no room in business for stupidity. I agree, uh, but I wouldn't call this stupidity. I call it an oversight for which I take full responsibility. Would you prefer it if I took over the dealings? Your schedule's full, isn't it? Well, I can always make time. I think it's best if we hold off on that decision until it's decided whether the deal will even go ahead. Do you have a portfolio? You've seen my work? I can see why the boys are so keen to have you on board. However, it's very unusual for Skinworks to pay $50,000 to an unproven designer. Well, I was delighted when they had such a positive response. Well, you have raw talent, and that's what we're interested in. More than anything else. I like your style, kiddo. You're not afraid to admit to your mistakes, and even more importantly, you're willing to stand up to me.
very impressive. Oh, it's great. And much sexier. Yeah, I love the halter. Thanks for the tip. You're Bethany Daniels, right? Yes. I'm not surprised that Buddy Beat uses you to sell their image. You're perfect. And all going well, I'd like to include that suit in the range. Buddy Beat's a good gig for you? It's fabulous. Everybody here, they treat me really well. Well, that's important. I'm glad you feel that way, because they wouldn't want to lose you. You know, I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you. <gasps> you were my idol. American Vogue, Harper's Bazaar. I wanted to be like you. It's one of the reasons why I got into modeling. It has its downside. Lack of privacy, bodyguards, stalkers. I had one of them too. Roger the Nicker Nicker. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to be famous. You better mention me in your autobiography. Georgina and Amber will be out in a minute. Oh, I'm taking the girls out to lunch. You want to join us? I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Next time. It was really a pleasure meeting you. I hope to see you again in the flesh. Yes. Bye. See you, Beth. She really has something special, doesn't she? Yep. I hate her. Special friend? She sure is. I thought so. You haven't taken your eyes off her all morning. You're gay, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Bethany's just a friend. Oh, okay. Uh, shall we go? Sure. <laughs> so how long have you been married? You know, I'm really not certain. <laughs> Men are kind of difficult to prize off when you share children. Children? Well, don't they get in the way of your career? The twins? Not at all. You've got twins. Don't look so shocked. <laughs> don't you want children? Oh, yeah, but um, it could be a bit difficult. I don't know if I could fit them in. I never thought it was possible to juggle children and a career. Oh, it's easy. They live with their father. <laughs> And they're just about to hit puberty. I love it. <laughs> you know what I love about life? You throw yourself into it, and if it doesn't work out, well, there's always divorce or the Betty Ford Clinic. Well, you seem to have it all sewn up. <laughs> Will you excuse me for a moment? Sure. I'll come with you. <laughs> Girls going to the bathroom in convoy. Don't you think that behavior is Darwinian? Survival of the fittest. Well, I'm sure it was necessary when our ancestors lived in the jungle. You know, one woman relieves herself while another wards off predators. <laughs> or men. Exactly. I see we think alike. Margot, what you said before, um, I don't consider myself a lesbian. Um, I'm just surprised you picked up on it. <laughs> if you don't consider yourself a lesbian, then what is there to pick up on? There is one woman I'm attracted to. That's it? Only one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> Come on. I see the way you look at women. Something tells me it's not just platonic. <laughs> the hardest thing is admitting that you feel that way about yourself. Believe me, I know. After that, it's a lot of fun. How do we organize some champagne for a little party this afternoon? Party? To celebrate the deal. A franchise of 25 body beat outlets across the state to be implemented over the next 12 months. That is wonderful. <laughs> what are you doing this afternoon? Designing, if I'm not too excited to work. Oh, you better not be. We need to spend some time together working on some of the finer points of the deal. Uh, with Amber? Yeah, uh, she put the package together, didn't she? I want Amber to be in charge of the whole production. Muscle top, honey. This is the big time. <laughs> okay, she's learning. But she's young and hungry to prove herself, so she'll work damn hard. Because she's already made a mistake, she's going to be more careful in future. How can she be careful? She'll be flying blind. <laughs> What is it with you guys? She's your future. If she's not sure about something, then she can ask Georgina, can't she? Of course. Or am I missing something here? Do you trust Amber with this much responsibility? It would anchor her to the business. This is about business, isn't it? I heard you asked Amber to leave your apartment recently. There isn't something personal going on that's affecting your judgment? Of course not. Trey wouldn't be stupid enough to mix business with pleasure. Adam. There are legal ramifications that you... Listen, you guys, I am not asking your permission. I want Amber fronting this deal or it's off. Here's 
to a long and prosperous union between Buddy Beat and Skinworks. And here's to Amber Kingsley, who will orchestrate the deal with finesse. Enjoy the caviar and champagne, everybody, because as soon as it's finished, we make money. Cheers. Cheers. Adam, I want those contracts by 7 a.m. tomorrow. I want to fax them to my lawyer. Sure. I need some help with those figures from the package put together. Sure. I'm going to get the file up. Zoe. Hmm. Are you busy tonight? No. Good. I thought we might have dinner. I'm almost tied up here, and these guys are going to have me when they find out how, how much work's involved. Sure. Good. I really like you. I want to get to know you better. Okay. Trey, not drinking. Is this the action of a man who's on the wagon? More like a runaway train, really. <laughs> well, that's the nature of the business. But don't worry, I'm more than happy to have you step off at the next station. It's probably a good thing that you're so busy in radio. You mean convenient? No, I mean it's a good thing. I don't want your personal squabbles encroaching on this deal. I'll leave you to it then. Margot, I really appreciate this opportunity. I know not everyone around here thinks I'm up to it. Well, honey, you just prove them wrong. It's the best revenge. <laughs> Our dinner was amazing. Oh. Very interesting. <laughs> if that's a satisfied smile, it's very sexy. Um, I don't often hear that from women. Well, I told you I wanted to get to know you, and you're a lot more than your sexuality. Ah, oh, it's just been great talking about this openly for once. That feeling of guilt. Hey, you should never feel guilty. Not over something you can't change. It's not hurting anyone. Last night was incredible. Believe me, it's going to get even more incredible. Maybe we could see each other next time you come to Australia. Yeah, sure thing. But I have a sneaking suspicion that you won't need me then. You'll be seeing every available girl in town. <laughs> you want coffee? Oh, honey, just a sip. i got to leave this morning. Margot, something you said last night, um, you only live twice. What did you mean by that? You live twice if you're lucky. First time you live the life other people want for you, then you live the life you want for yourself. See you, kiddo. Oh, it's a very busy time at the moment. Georgina's had a lot on her plate. And Bowman's your baby, right? Well, I'm only trying to do what's best for the company. <laughs> Yeah, I'll bet you are, sweetie. But listen, thanks. I appreciate the VIP treatment. Thanks for coming to get me. Absolute pleasure. <sighs> now, tell me all about our bull man. I've died and gone to heaven. You're Margot Hayes. <laughs> well, I was last time I looked. Oh, the people you see when you haven't got your autograph book. I'm Joe. Hi, Joe. I wanted to be you. In fact, I had some of my bone structure based on yours. Well, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But listen, honey, I got a dash. If you want to drop into Kingsley's later, I'll leave my autograph at the front desk for you. Oh, you're a darling. <laughs> Shirley Bassey, Judy Garland, now Margot Hayes, the great drag icon. I can think of worse <laughs> things. Do you mix much in the gay world? When the mood strikes me. <laughs> Zoe, so, hey, you've met Margot. Margot, hello. Well, hello yourself. Looking just as good as you did the last time I saw you. You must be treating your staff well, Amber. But you look just a little tired, honey. Mm -hmm. Treat them mean, keep them keen. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I bet it's nothing that a good night in a comfortable bed wouldn't fix. Let's get this show on the road. Is Luke here yet? No, he's on his way. Oh, can you make some coffee and show him in straight away? Sure thing. So, how's your love life? It's a long story, and unfortunately, I don't think it's going to have a happy ending. Oh, did I detect a little embarrassment then? Silly girl. It's all part of growing up. I want to hear every grisly detail. I've <laughs> got it. <laughs> That'll be black and nothing for me. Okay. <laughs> Unless you've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> if that's the case, then the discount on the quantities that we're prepared to order will have to come down, say, 2%. I think perhaps we could agree on one. I do all look into the details, but there shouldn't be any major problem. Mm -hmm. Luke! <sighs> Glad you could get here so quickly. Short notice, but I managed. Well, Margot, here he is, Luke Bowman, the man who is Bowman. Luke, Margot Hayes. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Perfect, in fact. So much better in the flesh. <laughs> well, great to meet you. Now, let's get down to business and make us all a lot of money. Luke, here are the copies of the standard contracts. I've underlined any areas that may be amended during the meeting. So, a 1% reduction in wholesale for the specified units has been loosely agreed on. Excuse me, Amber, but where's Georgina? Shouldn't she be here for this? Well, y yeah, she should be. But in the meantime, I thought it prudent to get underway. We only have Margot for a short time, so I thought I'd jump into the driver's seat. I see. What are you doing? Margot, it was a pleasure meeting you. Please excuse me. But I'm not in the mood for playing games. Not today, Amber. Call me when you've managed to get a hold of Georgina. Oh, now I see what's going on. Luke, I think you're overreacting. Georgina's on her way. And I'll be at home. Call me when she arrives and I'll be glad to continue. Excuse me? A brain as well as brawn. Who would have thought? <sighs> nothing to worry about, obviously. Some problems at home that have nothing to do with work. Well, honey, if you want to continue, I suggest you get hold of Georgina as fast as you possibly can. Wherever she may be. I understand the bowman is your baby, but don't mess with me, Amber. I won't have Georgina cut out of this deal. I know that, Georgie, but she's already here. But there was a mix-up. Look, can't we talk about that when you get back? You've done I a great job with that. these contracts. I was especially impressed with your figures. Thank you. I aim to please. <laughs> Hi, cutie. You want to pick me up? No. What a night. I haven't been to bed, so I thought I may as well just keep on going. No one will be in for at least half an hour. Good. You and I can catch up. No? Fine. I think one employee a trip's enough, don't you? Am I missing something here? I saw you and Dior last night. At the club? Yeah, that was some floor show. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Looking a little green there, sweetie. Dior and I have been going out together. I know. And that doesn't matter to you? Should it have? We've been trying to work out our problems. <laughs> That's not the impression she gave me. She sees it as over. Look, sweetie. I came here on a business deal, not to get involved in dramas. We're all adults. Let's not behave like schoolgirls. I don't think it's childish to expect a little loyalty from a friend. <laughs> Just who are we talking about here? Me? Yes. <sighs> Let's get one thing straight. Sure, we had a nice time. But when it gets down to it, I'm a Skinworks executive and you're a Kingsley's PA. Tell Georgina I'll be back. I don't need this. Now I know what I don't want to be when I grow up. Get a life, sweetie. Hi. Ah, uh, look, uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. There must have been some communication breakdown about your arrival. It was really unfortunate. Oh, yes, it was. Congratulations. I was listening. Oh, it was a one-off. <laughs> oh, I hope so. We need you on Bowman. Assuming the deal goes ahead. 
Assuming it does, I hope you can tear yourself away from instant stardom. We really should talk. Yes, look, the phones are going to go crazy here. Why don't we go somewhere? Okay. Um, I assume that Amber and Luke are meeting us? Uh, no, not exactly. Luke is a very sweet figurehead, and Amber is a troublemaker. Now, I want to close this deal without having to explain anything to him or deal with her. Fair enough? Hmm, the worm turns, huh? After this morning, I'm so pumped up, I feel like I'd take on the world. Uh, girl, after my own heart. Okay, just the two of us. Fine. Thanks for letting me know. May I ask? Well, the switchboard's gone crazy. Apparently I'm a hit, especially with women. Well, I wouldn't go forming a fan club just yet if I were you. That's what I like about you. Oh, do tell. You're a leveler. Well? Where do I sign? So you're on board? As far as I'm concerned, we have a deal. <sighs> Look, I want you to know that I will put 100% of my effort into this. Mm. You better. You know what clinched it for me, don't you? Well, it's a good deal. Dior put it together very well. Dior. Mm. I am impressed with her. But no, you did. The thing that I was worried about all along was the infighting between you and Trey and Amber. I was worried that the firm would self-destruct. But you finally showed me you have the balls to control them. Keep it up. I intend to.